We've been waiting three months for this to arrive. Now we can begin creating our off-grid electrical system. We're trenching 800 feet of conduit into the ground around the cabin. These are the beginning steps that will turn our 15 acres into a sustainable homestead. That's the sound you want to wake up to. <laughs> Is it really happening? I can't believe this. We've been waiting three months for this. Look at our porch. Look at everything. Now everything's gonna have a home. We're gonna have a space that's going to transform our life at the cabin. No more living with tools, a place to do projects and to work away, store materials. It's gonna make things so much smoother. But <laughs> first problem is getting in our driveway. <laughs> I think it's coming in the driveway, but it's just so close. We've taken down four trees at the mouth of the driveway to try and get it in. We definitely ordered a big building. <laughs> I truly can't believe this is actually happening. We almost have it straight in the driveway. And this was actually the first project we started prepping for when we got back to the cabin this spring. And that's because it was supposed to be here in one month. And it is the start of when we can actually do the inside of our cabin build because this is the home to our off-grid electrical system. They also just lost one of the chains on the, the secondary wheels that move it side to side. They're no longer working with two wheels in between the regular wheel set. They're only working with one. It's broken. I don't know why and I don't know how, but I don't think it's too good. Do you drink coffee? No problem. They don't know they're missing out on the Krista Barista. <laughs> we literally haven't even had coffee yet, everyone. Oh, I'm so excited though. I like. I'm in disbelief to be honest. Think about how amazing this space is gonna be all winter. It's it's the house to our electrical. Like we're gonna be able to do things. It's the next step for so many things. So great. It's so surreal. I don't feel like it's real. Coffee's ready, their engine's on. Luckily they give you four hours for delivery because they tend to be a little bit tricky everywhere they go. They got it! They got it? Woo! Oh, they're so good. A success, they finally got in the driveway. It took about 45 minutes at least, but now we're smooth sailing coming down. Hopefully for the rest of the way. saying they usually deliver four a day. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Good thing shipping's included at the first bill, eh? <laughs> Honestly though, we're gonna have to give them a tip because they have just been so good. Like going out of their way. Like someone could have looked at this and said, not doing it. See you later ladies. I'm yeah. on to the next job. the driveway and they are literally on the last turn to get it in its forever home. The shed garage thing is completely straight and I believe now is the time where they use the slider on the trailer and they're gonna just slide it right back. All the turns have been completed. Wow. Zeus and his co-worker are literally crushing it. building it's freaking built oh my gosh so well by this the Mennonites it's so surreal are you crying it's so surreal it like is. this doubles our space this makes everything so much easier going forward we have a garage can you believe that no I can't believe that oh I'm so happy they did such an amazing job thank, thank you come see your other dog house Okay. You miss mama? You guys are good girls. Girls, good girl. guess what? We have a new garage. Whoa. 
Open the other oh one. Oh my goodness. Come on in. Wow. <laughs> it's huge. Wow. wow. <laughs> I absolutely cannot believe the amount of space in here. It's amazing. It's tall too, hey? We have a garage. I <laughs> I cannot get over the space in here. I'm so happy we went with this size. And we were so excited that we just started moving things in here so quickly. It's already filled up with all the materials that were taking over the cabin and that were scattered around the property. Quite a few belongings that we've gathered over the last year since moving here. Anyway, I just had to show you everything that we've put in there already and just how we're making use of it right away. And you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this space in the coming months, especially through the winter. So this is gonna be our little winter workshop. Hey, Porter, how are ya? Guess what? The garage is here. Tomorrow? Six, see you tomorrow. Ten long minutes later. At least. <laughs> this is our map. You ready to follow it? Things happen so quickly out here. All of a sudden Porter gave us a call and he was here and now we are doing something very exciting that we've been anticipating for so many months. So everything else goes on hold as per usual and the priorities get taken care of. Heck yeah. Isn't that exciting, eh? Finally. 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 Okay, the idea is our electrical system is going to be going in the back. That way, all of the conduit and the boxes are gonna be coming up through this trench and into the hickory barn. Caution tape, measuring tape. If you can read jasmine spray paint calligraphy, this says trench. Okay, that's aggressive. We don't wanna waste spray paint. Trench. Okay. In between these two lines here, we are going to trench the electrical lines right into the center of the two soon to be existing solar rays. One and two. <laughs> I'm the trench line. This means that we are digging up our precious yard and that includes the sod we laid last year. But we're gonna cut it nicely. This is Porter's idea, he's an absolute genius. And we're gonna strategically put the sod back after and you'll never know anything happened. It's kind of fun, it's the mountain of my pogo as a kid, you know? I gotta get you a pogo. Can I get one? That's Where good. did you get them? It's good exercise. Does anybody know a pogo maker? Yeah, like do they make them for adults? Super sweet, Porter's managed to get around the water line. He's made it all the way past the hickory barn here and he's working his way towards the sod. I'm very impressed, Justin's doing a fantastic job and I just have to say one more thing. I am so happy to see that cat back here. I love an excavator. It just makes me so happy to see it here because when the excavator's here, we're doing some exciting things. This is actually going much faster than I thought and a lot smoother than I thought. Okay, I can't even believe it. We are through the sod. It came out perfectly. That way we can lay it back after this. This yeah. seems like a lot of laps. Well, it is. Well, we have to go from, from there, there to 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 there. Yeah, and there, there to, to there, there to there. there, to there. <laughs> you catch it? You got it? Yikes. This is Kanju Queen. <laughs> hey there. Kanju, Kanju. Who is that? Get it. Get it there. Bello. Well, I can't say we, Porter, trenched all the way from the back of this hickory barn to the solar field. It's entirely trenched and ready for the conduit. All that planning we did with Porter that you saw, so many different electrical lines, and even some blank ones for the future. Just gonna future proof, you never know what could happen down the road. No stress, I'm living my life.
you doing there, lady? This is an expansion joint. We live in Canada, and this is an expansion joint. <laughs> because we live in Canada, and our ground is constantly moving. So That's neat. This helps it not rip out of the place, I believe Porter taught me. And dirt Dang. tastes good, right? Oh my gosh, stop! Just having a snack. <laughs> You're literally going ham at it. You're so gross. How many feet are we doing, Porter? 920 feet. Ready to go, everyone? Here we Part. go. And Let's... we're starting at, oh, only four o'clock in the point. afternoon. Yeah, but Porter, there's nowhere else you'd rather be working. Isn't that true? Nope, none. <laughs> <laughs> we're the most fun, are we? Everyone take a big guess what you uh -huh. need right here. You need a great big smile. Aww. <laughs> and that's why Porter loves working with us. <laughs> no stress, I'm living my life. That is so impressive. Can you imagine trying to no, do that? No, I wish. Porter needed to jump back into the excavator to dig out some more dirt. So our electrical lines would be flush with the garage. Because we're installing up to six lines on the back of the structure, it's important that they are all perfectly straight. No stress, I'm living my life. I'm feeling alright. We've gone one full length. We've got quite a few more to go, but I'm just celebrating the small wins. We've made it one full length of the first trench. Look at that, one full length. Go team. Go team, go. We're living without electricity. <laughs> and it's September, which means winter is right around the corner. Although we're hopeful that we're going to get our main system installed before winter, we decided to do a little bit of research of something that would be powerful enough and also easy to install for the just in case we don't make it. That's how we came across EcoFlow. This is the Delta Pro with 400 watts of portable solar that we actually mounted on the roof and 4,500 watts output to power heavy duty devices and appliances. The best part is you can customize your setup by connecting them together like regular batteries and that means you can double your power. We can run our 240 volt well pump and all our lights and charge our devices and use our power tools. Toothbrushes, coffee maker, our fridge, our laptop. A few of the features that we're already loving is the fast charging capabilities, going from zero to 100% charged in 1.8 hours using an outlet, as well as the ability to use the app to monitor and control our Delta Pro. All right, check out how awesome this is. It's a portable home battery system. It's truly unmatched for its size, all-in-one inverter, solar charge controller, and batteries. We have so much peace of mind knowing we have this at our fingertips. We're super impressed with the technology that EcoFlow has, and if you've been wondering what portable power station you should get, we highly recommend EcoFlow. We love it so much, we even put the panels on our roof. We can't wait to try more of EcoFlow's products. Head to the link in the description so you can see all of the portable power stations that EcoFlow has to offer. <laughs> Back to trenching! Line number two. Okay, so we've made it from the hickory barn all the way to the solar array, and we've done that three times. And we've done that three times because, well one, you need solar to your solar charge controller, because then you need to go back that way and then into the house. There is one blank one, just in case one day we want to run something else in the future, and that way we already have the conduit in the ground, so it will be as easy as just fishing the wire through and no more trenching. Right on. No more trenching. No. Oh yeah. That looks so good. Dinner for Glue Boy and Pipe Girl. Thank ah. you. Dig in. Full day. Full day. <laughs> we'll be back here tomorrow. Yeah. I was cleaning out the yard. Take your boots off. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of trenching electrical lines. Right now, Porter is backfilling our trench that we made last night. And today, we're going to be trenching from the garage to the greenhouse. And if we don't chat so much, we can even trench from the solar array to the cabin. Wish us luck.
Porter's almost finished filling in the trench, but basically these boxes I need something to hold on to. And guess what? I get to use my torch. <laughs> so it's a win-win-win for everything right now. If you're new here, a couple weeks ago we started experimenting with a traditional Japanese technique charring wood called Susugi Ban and Jasmine absolutely loves it so we are doing that to this post because it's going to be going in the ground and it's going to prolong the life of it. What I like most about this is yes traditionally you do it on an open fire but you can easily get one of these torches at your local hardware store. A lot of people have a propane tank from their barbecue. You hook it up and you can do this so if you're building garden beds at home or you're building like a shed and you want the base of it to be preserved and last longer literally 150 years and then 50 years you re you reburn. I mean like I feel like anyone can do this. Porter just said, you probably have the worst land in all of Nova Scotia. So many rocks, but because there's so many rocks, you have to dig them out. And that's literally why you need this machine out here to do this. And I'm so happy we have Porter's help because this really is a three person job of the digging and laying the pipe and bringing the pipe and all of that. And not only are we trenching, but we've been joined by Talia and Madison and Bowie and we're so, so happy. It's gonna be such a great week. <laughs> She's like, can I have another one? I'll have the pinky. <laughs> this pinky's better. Wow, you love it. Pinko. That's so good. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's early garlic. Oh this looks unbelievably delicious. How this do you do the veggies, is the first yeah, of many good meals of these two. Like I'm salivating. Thank you. Thank mm. you, chef. Have fun staying dry. Have fun not staying dry. Thanks. Okay. Well, this is fun coming down harder. It really is. So basically what we did from the garage to the solar field three times last night, we are now doing to the cabin. So we're trying to make the least amount of turns as possible even though there's lots of turns happening. Anyways, we got the crew, the trenching crew back. We definitely didn't chat too much, but we got rained out. Morning, sweet Izzy. Good morning. Good morning. 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 Morning, Bowie. Oh, Izzy, good morning. Good morning. Got your work boots. Oh my goodness, these are for us. It's time to get to work. Rising in your eyes. Everything's just right. Morning. Morning. <laughs> day three of trenching. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> How do you reckon we're getting this water out of here? Porter? Just gonna drain it into the woods. Yeah? With the bucket? Yeah. Do Go team. Go team. Go team! <laughs> I'm on vacation! <laughs> Let's go heavy dog! <laughs> okay, so not only did it pour rain last night and kick us off the job site, but we have filled up our trench and it is now a moat. Jasmine's gone for a paddle this morning already. We're just enjoying our coffee with our visitors and Porter has a genius idea of making this moat float into the forest and it's slowly draining itself so hopefully that'll get most of the water out of here and our paddleboard is not too happy to hear about that my river my river the trench is being filled in thank gosh there's no rain today and tell Bella kind of Bowie are even watering the greenhouse for us. So oh my goodness, it's so nice to have extra hands out here. 
you would literally never know there was a trench here. We have now trenched from the solar field to the cabin successfully. Time for a cabin shower. Woo! Okay, we've come back from our cabin shower and we've been told there are all there is a lot of soup obviously due to the rain. This is complete soup. It's all the trenching we can do because the next part of the trenching is going to be from the garage to the greenhouse and we are missing a couple 45s or 90s. Both. We're missing 45 and 90s in order to fin finish it off. We had to use a little bit more than anticipated. We even got extra, so. But yeah, basically, that's all the trenching we're gonna do. No more trenching means we get to prepare for a fun night with some friends. Right back around, right here, right now. Both feet on the clouds, right back around. We can't slow us down. Till the sun goes out, bring it right down. Drop your bag. Maybe change out of your dress for a second. Why? What are you doing? Come here. Are you ready to drive the excavator? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> you know Porter likes you in because I've been feeding him. Oh I'm confused already. Uh oh. Almost. Other way. Really it's funny to see someone else in this because I feel like because we've done it so much excavated it's like normal but i forget how challenging it actually was to learn and now it's like second nature like riding a bike or walking but when you put someone in here that hasn't done it you're like oh my goodness let's come a long way oh my god i can so see how you're like addicted to that you're just like so funny excavator rides turned into hot tubs and delicious meals turned into late night talks with our friends Tal and Mads, there is no shortage of laughs to be had. The next day, we welcomed more friends and family to celebrate the end of summer. Let's just say, it got pretty wild. <laughs> Crystal actually, her eyes are a little watery. I thought so. Yours aren't? <laughs> Bye, Bye, I love, love you. you. What an amazing feeling to have all of our friends and family here and host them. Not them all. We got more friends. Yeah. And more family. <laughs> We'd love to have everyone. They're going to get mad. <laughs> Especially Momager. Thank she wasn't even invited. <laughs> Thank you to all of those that did come. And this is exactly how we envisioned this space. A place to host and to share. Share everything that we've created. And although we're not quite at the finishing stages, it's nice to have everyone here for the in-betweens. Yeah, I like that they get to see it at all the stages. Me too. Because next year, 2023, Summer bash. September weekend. It always gets better. See you Sunday. Ciao, Pac. Love you. <laughs>